In this example, I'd like to look at the solution of a cantilever beam with a tip load, and I'd like to use a two-term approximate potential energy solution method. So the solution space S for um, the, this problem here is functions that have zero deflection and rotation, x equals zero. And as an approximation space, I'm going to look at polynomials that are composed of quadratic and cubic terms. So this is a proper subset of S. And the potential energy for this problem is composed of the elastic strain energy of the beam, so one half EI, the integral of that over zero to L, of the curvature squared, which is two derivatives of V, plus the potential load, which is minus P evaluated at the deflection evaluated at L. And my approximation function is just this CX squared plus DX cubed. So C and D are unknown parameters, so we're going to need derivatives. So V prime is 2CX plus 3DX squared, and V double prime is equal to 2C plus 6DX. So this form here we will insert into our expression for the potential energy. So pi becomes a function of C and D, integral 0 to L of 1 half EI, and then we have 2C plus 6DX squared DX minus P times the deflection evaluated X equals L, so that'll be C L squared plus D L cubed. Uh, pi needs to be stationary, and so that means that the derivative of pi with respect to C needs to be equal to zero, so that's the integral of EI 2C plus 6DX times 2 DX minus P L squared, that has to equal zero. Likewise, the derivative with respect to D integral EI 2C plus 6DX times 6X DX minus P L cubed also is equal to zero. So these are simple integrals to do. They go zero to L. They're just polynomials. And so that leads to a system of linear equations. Let's I'll write an EI out front. 4L, 12L squared, 12L squared. We'll always get symmetric matrices here. 12L cubed times CD is equal to PL squared, PL cubed, which you can easily solve, and you can find out that C is equal to PL over 2EI, and D is equal to minus P over 6EI. And so we can get our final approximate solution is equal to PLX squared over 2EI minus PX cubed over 6EI. So this is our approximate solution using minimizing potential energy over the space of polynomials that include quadratic and cubic terms. This actually happens to be exact in this case. And that, that is true because the true solution to this problem actually lives in S tilde. So if your exact solution is in S tilde, so your approximation space, you will actually get it by this procedure.